Hey Monster Gardeners, Steve here. Are you an outdoor or greenhouse grower? And are you looking to increase your yields and quality, but you're also looking to conserve water? Well, we have a solution for you. It may not be a silver bullet, but it's a red bullet. Let's check it out. I'm here with Josh from AeroScience. You may know his products from the AeroScience Microfog Atomizer. They're all about water conservation, and now he has a brand new product to show you all today. So what do you got here? Well, this is a 25% red shade netting. It's uh, copolymer, so it's got high density polyethylene along with a crystalline polymer and a UV stabilizer. So it's a color uh, spectrum enhancing shade cloth. So it still lets natural sunlight through. Yeah, so 75% of the sunlight goes through, 25% of the sunlight gets altered into a deep red spectrum. Basically, any plant that flowers or fruits, it's gonna increase the yield by altering a percentage of the light to the red spectrum. Do you use it all year long, or do you find in the winter is when it's most productive? Well, you really, you wanna use it on plants that are fruiting or flowering. So from about mid-July till the end of the year okay. for an outdoor crop, or if you're running a light depth crop, you can just leave it up full time. Okay, so how would you deploy the product in the field versus in a greenhouse? So in a field, you'd have to build a shade structure to extend the shade netting over the field. It's pretty common in places like Mexico and Israel. They, they build shade structures and they grow underneath them. Or in a greenhouse, all you do is just stretch it over the top of the bows of the greenhouse. It has a special stitch on the side that allows a grower to connect it using either twine or rope. Hmm. So you don't necessarily need U-channel and wiggle wire to connect it to your greenhouse. So what we did is we pulled it off, we pulled the plastic off the greenhouse and put up the red shade okay. right around mid-July. And then it was interesting what we found. The plants outdoor in the full sun, they were smaller. They didn't have as much trichome production. The ones under the red shade were larger. And uh, you'd notice if you go outside and it's 100 degrees and you go under the red shade, it's about 80 degrees. Okay. So it cuts out a lot of the thermal energy coming from the sun. I could see that. Yeah. And it's UV stabilized, so it's not gonna get brittle and fray before the end of the season. Right, yeah, it's designed to last at least five years. Oh, nice. But uh, I imagine it could go longer. And they're all shipped in the same size rolls. Yeah, these rolls are designed for a 30 by 100 greenhouse. Okay. They're about 30, uh, 39 feet wide and 115 feet long. So it's about 4,000 square feet of shade cloth. Okay, and yeah. these are in stock? In stock, ready to go, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, perfect timing for the summer when it's about to get hot. So. Yep. Okay, yeah. I think that's interesting about dropping the temperature too. Yeah. I was thinking about spectrum enhancing, but of course it's a shade cloth too, yeah. so it drops the temperature. Yeah, but it still allows a lot of the sunlight Oh, through. I'm sure. I, I didn't like a higher percentage, a 30 or a 40 or a 50. I, I went with the 25%. So you did R&D on this before you brought it to market? Yeah, we tried it in the field. It was pretty amazing. Just seeing the difference between the plants outdoors in the sun and the one under the shade cloth. The shade cloth uh, plants had uh, this quality to them. Like the trichome production was more, the plants were bigger in size, the flowers were bigger. And I think a lot of that is attributed to the red. To the red, yeah. right. Yeah. That makes I mean, that makes sense from an indoor grower perspective because mm -hmm. they're so used to enhancing the red spectrum. Mm -hmm. But you're bringing that outdoors. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what about water retention? We had talked about that. Yeah, so what we found was the plants outdoors in the sun, we had to water them two or three times a day when it was 100 degrees where in the shade cloth structure, we could water once a day in the morning and not have to water as frequently. But that's not because it's slowing the metabolism down. The plant is still vigorous. Yeah, the plant's actually growing better under the shade cloth, but out in the full sun, it's transpiring and releasing water, sure. just trying to survive. And if it gets too hot, the plant will actually wilt and shut down shut photosynthesis. Down. So the ones under the red shade were able to metabolize all day long and get bigger with less water. Huh. Yeah. How much does this cost to the end uh, user? It's about 900 bucks a roll. It ends up being a little less than 25 cents a square foot. Oh, wow. So for 25 cents per square foot, you can increase your yield, decrease your water usage, and, and increase. increase your quality. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's kind of a game changer. It's recyclable too. I love that it's engineered in the United States. Yeah. That's a great product feature. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, well, that's awesome. Check it out. It's only available here at Monster Gardens. You can't find this product anywhere else. Yeah, we so. have it in stock. So anyone that's in Northern California or in Sonoma County, we have it at our Sonoma County Superstore. And we can do special orders and ship it to you. But we only have so much because it is. It's a popular product and we're in the summer. So we encourage everyone to give us a call. Uh, come on down to our Sonoma County store. We have the shade cloth ready to go for you. Thanks a lot, Josh. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, hey, that was awesome. Hey, good deal. All right, I'm Steve from Monster Gardens. Until next time. Take care.